And I personally don't know one person that isn't watching it. No, nope, nor me. We're all in our house. We're all watching it. All my mates are watching it. It's just it's great. <laughs> Line of Duty. Yep. Is what we're talking about. And from Line of Duty this morning, it is as good to call her Steph Corporate, but of course it's Amy de Bruyne. Hey, good morning. Hey, welcome, welcome, good welcome. morning. Welcome. How are you? We're good, we're good. Um, just without anything to do with the programme, the accent is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very pleased. You think so? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, was that how? Coaching or just constant repetition? Or watching uh, Brookside over watching, the years? Yes, watching Brookside over the years, like literally as a child too young I think I was watching book <laughs> and uh, obsessed with it so and yeah and it's, I feel like it's a it's an accent uh, you know because a lot of I, I don't know whether it is the link between a lot of people from Ireland that went to Liverpool yeah. but I feel like there is an easy uh, you know it, it, it's one of the, the well one of the more natural accents for me to slip into you know wow. than some others but uh, well done yeah, yeah so yeah mm-hmm. and, and a lot of practice like the night before like particularly this time round um, just you know, with Stephen Graham's character, knowing that you know they've their husband and wife, and she's lost him and things. I, I was watching a few Stephen Graham videos before yeah. the night before going back because I was thinking little intonations in his voice might, you know, yeah, do you pick up on pick up, yeah, yeah. Well, what's it like working with, with him? I know he's gone now at this stage, but I mean, he's just just such a fabulous all rounder. He's incredible, but a lot of our stuff was you know from from series five was on the phone, yeah. so yeah. like. So I literally met him at the read through, and then it was kind of like, see ya, you know. <laughs> um, but I, like, I was, I, I was a little bit kind of like in awe when I met when I met him at the read through because I was just going, I can't believe I'm playing opposite you, and uh, and it's brilliant because it kind of encourages you to sort of raise your game because you know yeah. if you're going to be sh- if you're going to be the only two people on the screen, wow. <laughs> you want to be kind of showing yourself in, in good. On the, biggest show, on the biggest, the biggest show. show on the planet yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is, it does have that. I mean, I um, saw Adrian Dunbar's and Holidays and Kerry in the summer and we were going to Skellig Michael and he was filming... Um, a series and I was sort of I got a little bit starstruck I have to say which oh, doesn't happen often it is a kind of a weird like a weird moment like because, because I suppose we're so the, the series every single time every single series that comes on you it, it becomes the centre of everything particularly the last couple of series and now especially in lockdown mm. so when you see these people out of context it's just like yeah it's, it's quite it's quite a lot for the brain to take in I know you can't talk about specific plots and things and that's yeah. what, it wouldn't be fair to ask you either it uh, but, but <laughs> he'll try though <laughs> you know, yeah, no, try. No, I'll get the impression though that they'll just kill off anyone at any time if it suits the storyline and the plot which is, which is the right thing to do in that sense and uh, yes. you, you know the bigger the star the, the, the bigger the shock but when we left it last week you had poor old uh, Steve Arnott in that nosy situation well he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a copper I suppose yeah. that's what he does but find, mm. finding the cash yes I know I think it's it's it, there was a really interesting one because there was a lot of talk and a lot of people were kind of you know asking afterwards you know did he go in you know and that yeah. was their questions that you do have when you're reading the script you know did he go in you know yeah. knowing that he was going to do that and I kind I liked the idea that I liked seeing him almost close the door behind him and then change his mind and go sort of back yeah. inside I thought that was quite nice mm. and I thought oh that's they're they're building a little bond there you know? yeah because there is a little bit of a you know, even though you're sort of the Black Widow now, there's a little free son between the two of them. Yeah, and they're, I feel like, you know, I kind of like them. I kind of go, oh, yeah. two little lonely people that have sort mm. of, you know, are going through something, you know, and have sort of, yeah, landed on each other here at this moment. Um, but, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how it develops and where it goes. That's what we're all wondering, absolutely. Yeah. How did you get there? How did you get there? <laughs> to, to line a G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, well, I, I just auditioned for it and yeah. um, and kind of it was one of those ones. I mean, obviously, it's one of the, you know, one of my proudest jobs at the moment, for sure. Oh, yeah. it's, it's such a huge show. But, um, yeah, I auditioned and I kind of, it was one of those ones where I actually didn't know. My sister was a huge fan of the show. I didn't actually know of the show before I auditioned. And God, then when I knew I had the part and I was watching the ser- all the series, I nearly died. Of but it. that's probably quite a good thing, though. Yeah, because I didn't have any, I didn't have any sense of anything. So I literally... I watched a couple of clips online that were, I got a sense of kind of the tone of the show and how natural and downplayed everything is, you know, yeah. and uh, got a sense of that. And then kind of didn't expect anything because it was in a Liverpool accent. So, you know, you're kind of going in going, yeah, I can do that accent. And you just do it and you, you let it go. Very, and uh, well done, yeah, yeah. Mm. and it was just an incredible. And then to be, it was kind of, originally I was only signed up for two episodes, for, you know, um, 
with, with Steve in, in, in the last series yeah. and then uh, Jed, the creator, kind of said he was really liking what I was doing, so he wanted to bring me oh, back wow. for the speech lens finale. And then, sure, I was kind of going, that was amazing, and that was really wow. nice that I was brought back. And then they brought me back for another series. Oh, so, brilliant. brilliant. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. great. What's next? <laughs> what, would you, what would you like to do next? Or what, anything up and running? Because I know it's strange times. Yeah, it is. It is really strange times. I'm really, I'm really loving, uh, I'm really loving TV and film at the moment. I've kind of really kind of uh, got, gone down that route. But it's yeah. been quite welcoming for me and I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, yeah. I, I like in another way as well, I would like to do maybe like even to, to work in Ireland a little bit more as well would be lovely because I find sometimes there's a lot of stuff outside of Ireland that I get and, uh, you know, it's nice to, go to, to do stuff at home every now and then too. So, well, but anything, God, but TV and film is kind of where my heart well, is. Keep her lit, keep her lit, as we say in these parts and continued and success. Thank yeah. you so much. And we're delighted you took time out to come on and talk to us this morning, Amy. Not Thank you so much. Thank you. It's lovely talking to you guys. Cheers. Thanks, Have Mel. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Woohoo, that was great, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> how nice is she? This like, in the has, biggest yeah. TV show. Lovely. On oh, that's, telly that's, at the moment. That's, that's just fabulous. And uh, you wish her continued success. And Absolutely. Can't wait for next Sunday. That's all I have to say. And I just still love her accent. <laughs> oh, Q and I do breakfast, Nate and Venetia. 9.43 with the Lumineers. Oh.